A little bit about heat tape today. Uh, we've got a couple examples here, different types of heat tape. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is residential style heat tape. Um, this is one that's available in factory made lengths up to 240 feet, has a fixed heat output of 5 watts per foot. It operates on 120 volt and has a medium lifespan and is a little bit more economical than some of the, the higher grades. Um, this is one of the roof clips which then clips on and uh, we put that on in a fashion that it goes up uh, into into your shingles so you don't have any leaks in your roof uh, maintains the integrity of your roof comes pre-made with the factory end on it um, and like I say these are preset lengths so you're you're somewhat limited there to what you can do that's the first option second option is a commercial grade uh, this is a medium grade heat tape um, it's uh, customizable, meaning we can splice it and make it to any length we need. We go down rain gutters, we can hardwire it or put a cord end on it. Um, and it's, uh, it's a pretty good heat tape, but self-regulating. Um, uh, on this medium grade, I just wanted you to see kind of how that's constructed and made. Um, fairly tough outer coating, um, pretty, pretty good quality stuff. The next option we have is probably the best option we offer. This heat tape uh, is more of a commercial heat tape. It's uh, a little stronger, a little thicker, a um, little better made. This gives us a uh, lot of options, fully customizable to whatever size we need. Uses a heavier duty clip to help hold it on, secure it to the roof. Um, the commercial grade heat capes are self-regulating. They have a self-regulating core that automatically adjusts its heat output 2 watts to 12 watts. Per foot depending on the amb ambient temperature so the colder it gets the more it puts out uh, it's, it's pretty effective in severe icing conditions heat tape doesn't melt away the ice dam but it provides a channel for the drainage uh, from the ice uh, so that you you reduce the buildup that starts eating that away um, also want to show you just a comparison uh, we have the higher grade here the medium grade here that shows you the thicknesses, the difference there, as well as more of the, the residential grade. Now this uh, this insulation here is is almost kind of soft. I can almost dig my fingernail in it. It's uh, whereas this uh, medium and the high grade stuff quite tough, quite rugged uh, insulation on that. It's a little bit of difference on the quality there, and uh, obviously that reflects in the pricing as well has a pretty good lifespan. All three of these have decent lifespans. We've had upwards of 20 years uh, stuff we've installed all three styles that uh, have made it uh, probably sun, sunlight and ultraviolet damage is the, the biggest factor in heat tape deterioration and how it was installed. Um, this type of heat tape here, the residential, uh, if it lays on itself, um, quite often it'll burn itself out and uh, you know as it touches itself so you got to be real careful how it's installed um, and there's a number of different clips and things we can use to make sure that it stays off of itself the the better quality heat tapes can lay right on themselves not a problem uh, we don't have that kind of problem most heat tape uh, circuits depending on how, how much you're having installed uh, we may have to run a new circuit uh, install a new circuit dedicated circuit for it and then there's a lot of different ways to control it from manual switches or lighted toggle switches to automatic digital timers, preset or adjustable automatic ambient sensing thermostat controllers, and automatic moisture and temperature, ambient temperature sensors. So there's a number of things we can do uh, to help solve your problem, but definitely a lot better to do a little prevention than have it, uh, have it end up with a lot of roof damage. So give us a call. We'll see what we can do for you. Thanks.